Hello everybody and welcome to a uh, quick look at a brand new game coming out that I know a lot of people are really excited about. Um, it's called Wildstar Online and I am currently doing one of the uh, beta weekends for it. And I um, thought I'd go ahead and do a little recording and let you guys take a look at the game, see what you think about it. Uh, as well as get my own impressions. This is actually, um, I did make one other character just a bit ago and was playing around, but this is actually the first time I've really gone through and uh, had a chance to play the game, so I've only had about half an hour's experience with this so far. So, um, again, this is Wildstar Online. New game out, it is by Carbine Studios, and it's being put out by uh, NCSoft. And... Um, it's a very, very highly anticipated title. It's a lot of people have been waiting for it. Uh, it's been in the works for a few years now. So, um, anyways, let's take a look here and see what we've got. Now, the game is split into uh, two factions. You've got your rebel faction and the different races that you can choose with them. And then you've got your dominion faction. Um, and now, as far as I've been able to see, and from the lore here, straight up you've got the Rebels are more or less the good guys, and the Dominion are basically the overbearing bad guys. Um, and if you haven't already seen, the art style in this game is very, very cartoony, um, very, very interesting, and, and it's, it's pretty exciting to look at. It's pretty interesting stuff. Um, everything's very detailed, but very, very cartoony. Um, now anyways, for this video, I'm going to go ahead and choose a Dominion character, but uh, let's take a quick look at the different races here. Um, both sides have humans. you got your male humans, your female humans, and this is just random, it just... They're always different. Quite the hair on that lady. Um, ah, no more big hair, huh? Alright, so there's your humans. The Rebels also get the Orin, who are these kind of little, uh, uh, I want to say like cat people or fox people or they're like animal-y people. Big nature lovers and stuff like that. Then you've got your Granuk, and these guys are big stony guys and ladies that usually have some pretty sweet looking beards and or mustaches. That's quite a... Huh. But pretty interesting, tough looking guys. And then last year you've got your Mordesh, who are kind of these weird alchemical alien types. They are very strange looking. Well, he looks like a real, real happy guy, doesn't he? Hi. <laughs> I like him. He just just looks terrible. He reminds me of the brain from Pinky and the Brain. Just far more muscular. Anyways. Um, so there is your uh, rebel faction uh, exiles, I guess is what they're called. The exiles faction races. Um, <clears throat> excuse me a little bit. I'm, I'm getting over a cold and so I've got a pretty nasty uh, sore throat and cough, so I may edit out a few uh, loud coughs you get every so often. Anyways, here are the Dominion races. Again, the Dominions are basically the bad guys of the two factions. Um, the Exiles are trying to get away and, and claim this new planet as a new home world where they can all get along together. And the Dominion are basically the just big jerk-offs of the galaxy that are running around saying, no, it's ours because we said so. So, um, you've got your male and female humans. You've got the Draken, who just are ugly. Yep, that's about all I can say about that, but I guess that would be the Dominion's equivalent of the um, animal-y race. They're just demonic. You've got your Chua, or Chua, who are little gadgeteer people, and apparently there's only one gender of them. Oh, 
They do look a little crazy. Interesting. And then you've got your Mikari, who are um, like basically robots. Oh, he looks very happy. Anyways, um, all right. So let's go with something. Um, these just they just weird, aren't they? Hi. I can just like see this guy in like one of those online dating ads, <laughs> or this guy. He he could be on there too. Um. Sure. Now, there's also, like, paths and classes, and we'll get to those in just a second. Um, I guess I'll go with a human so I can remake myself a little uh, Pio character. Um, Alright, and so we've got our race. Next up, we need our class. Now we can make a warrior, and the warriors are kind of like what you'd expect. They run around with a sword and they beat the crap out of things. There's the engineer, which uses um, technology and things to, to overcome obstacles. They have tools and, and bots and things like that that they can use. Espers are basically your casters. Uh, medics are your healers, obviously. Stalkers are the equivalent of a rogue in most other games. And then there's the Spell Slinger, which are the gun users. Now, if I'm making a Pyo character, traditionally I usually go with a warrior, so... Um, we will go ahead and stick to that. And then down here, we've got our paths. Paths are... Um, they're kind of almost like a, a subclass or a... I don't know, almost a sub-race. You're going to be getting separate um, events and quests and things that will pop up for you over the course of the game based on the different path that you choose. So we've got Soldier, Settler, Scientist, Explorer. Now Soldiers are going to basically be military-based quests, um, testing out new hardware and things like that. Settlers are going to be mostly tasked with missions to um, benefit um, settling in on the new planet, um, you know, building places, um, clearing out lands, things, whatever it needs to be done in order to settle. Scientists are, of course, looking for um, information, technology, things like that. They want to find out what's making the planet tick, so to speak, and what, what's going on in general. And then there's explorers who are interested in going out, finding out about this planet, and um, uh, you know, interesting spots, points of interest, blah 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 blah. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go with a settler. Sure, why not? And then we'll go in and customize. Now I've already spent quite a bit of time going over just like the factions and stuff like that. I don't want to spend ages in here, but. Um, We'll uh, try to work up a real quick, but good-looking character, of course. Actually, I kind of liked the first face that we had. Hmm. 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 Yeah, whatever. All right, sure. Um, let's see. And you can customize these a bit more if you go in here, and you can. Change her eye height up a little bit, or down, or chin width. Oh, that's interesting. Um, all that stuff. I'm, I'm pretty happy with how she looks right now. I don't really feel like I need to tweak this all that much. So, there you go. Skin color. As dark or light as I want to be. Freckly. Hmm. 
Yeah, sure, whatever. Freckles are cool. And let's see, hair color. For some reason, hair color's up here and the hairstyle's way down here. Whatever. Hair color. Pio's gotta be red. Or at least as close to red as I can get. Eye color. Interesting enough, these they don't just let you like pick from a, a slider. It's you actually pick from preset colors. So green eyes. Jewelry. You can barely see it. That's no jewelry there. Can we get a just like simple? Yeah, okay, there you go. Simple gold hoops. Everything's gold. The minion. Sheesh. All right. So hairstyle. Lots of interesting choices. You know, if you like the 80s. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I actually just liked that one. Call me traditional, if you will. And then last, body type. I don't know why they didn't do this one earlier in, but... Alright, body type. Wow, that's thin. Holy cow. What's... Okay, so this is like, they're roughly the same, just... She's got a much, much larger chest and slightly thicker arms. Could I... Could we put the chest back down to reasonable amounts and then keep the slightly thicker arms? Eh, whatever. That just looks kind of silly. Um, alright. Cool. There she is. We've got ourselves a sort of Pio character. And we'll pop in a name. And lag like crazy. We're here, it's moving. It's, it's half loaded already. It's... Let's see what we got here. I have evidence that exiles may have infiltrated our cryo systems, planting their traitorous agents among loyal Dominion citizens. I require such a citizen to aid me in my work. You will find Yes, ma'am. Scans detect what we believe to be several functioning cryopods. No mechanical anomalies. Which one? That one. Right there. Yes. I have an instinctive feeling about that one. And the Makari's instincts are mathematically flawless. And none of you. As you say, ma'am, reading all That's that guy's job. Shall I begin the reanimation procedure? Yes. Begin as soon as the fail-safes are in place. All right. We are ready to proceed. This one is definitely the best of the lot, ma'am. Keep physical condition. No sign of tampering with any of the equipment. Exactly what I require. You can tell already these are yes, definitely the bad guys. I detect potential in this one. Where where does Darth Vader walk in from? Um Why are you just 
torturing this guy who's doing the chicken dance. Um, okay. Right, so, uh, oh, let's talk to this lady. And where you've been, what you've done. Does that make you nervous? No, not really, because I don't actually know. So, versus thoughts, I require your help to weed them out. But you will submit to a cerebral scan first. Delays would be most unfavorable, especially for you. Wow, running a bit choppy here. Do I enjoy communing with nature? Um, no. Are you a fan of Artemis Zinn? Who? No? One success means that you are indispensable. Okay. So, am I supposed to follow Have here? Have there been any changes? Oh, come on. Don't ask me questions I can't answer and then expect me to get the question right. I have to persuade them? Oh, really? Okay, now there's absolutely no doubt these are the bad guys I'm playing for here. Sorry, lady. Nothing personal. Now, one thing I've noticed is they don't tell you how many you have to, um, like, well, any kind of quest, really, like collecting stuff or, um, you know, doing stuff like this where you've got to interact with X amount of things or get X amount of items. They won't actually give you a straight-out number. They'll just flat out say like here's a percent you need or that you've accomplished you need to keep going till it's full they will not soon forget and you can click on a quest and it will um, kind of give you an arrow where you need to go this guy's shifty <coughs> I guess they shot. Okay, now I get to scan them. Didn't I just go through with this? They were fools to oppose the Empire. I gotta go speak to the Emperor. Or to a hologram of him. Okay. What's up? How you doing? I'm behind you. You know that? Tell me what you know. <laughs> Yes, I am flaming awesome. We are not done yet. Prepare yourself for what comes next. Treason is a disease of the soul. Tre I want you to assist Mondo Zax in 
treating these unfortunate citizens. Ha 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 ha. He will be waiting for you. So, you are a complete jerk, I'm guessing. Board the tram. Okay. Is this the tram? It looks like one of those old, like, sucky tube thingies that... Okay. Oh, hi. I fell down onto the track. Okay. Um, what? What's happening? It's dark. Oh, that's creepy. Loyal citizen. We have just completed a great journey across the stars, and planet Nexus now lies before us. The fulfillment mm. of our ancient destiny is at hand. Although the Dominion is emerging from a time of darkness, I swear to you by that's the creepy. blood in my veins. You're too close, that dude. I will lead our empire into a new age of greatness on the sacred homeworld of our forefathers. Citizens like you will make this possible. Prepare yourself for the challenge to come. So this ancient race is very elven looking and they're called the Eldar? Isn't that like <clears throat> Warhammer territory there a bit? Oh, hey, I'm not in, like, the Gestapo anymore. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. Um, yeah, so we'll pick up right after this and do some quests and see uh, some of that stuff. And, uh, yeah, hopefully get to some actual gameplay and combat rather than just torturing some poor innocent people. Um, anyways, thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.